Hey guys, what's up? This is the start of our Tesla project. So we, uh, we're doing two, uh, three Tesla power walls. We're gonna put them all on that wall. And we already took the two power walls out of the boxes. Here's all the scraps left over. We're just basically staging all the equipment. I just wanted to get a visualization of what it's gonna look like, how much space it's gonna take up. We're doing a full, full home backup system. Snowball's even involved in the project. He's pretty pumped about it. This is our, this is our Tesla dog. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is this is the box that the power walls come in. And basically, the, this is what it'll look like when it arrives to the house. So we'll do a full unboxing with Snowball's approval after he gets off this box, and we'll kind of show you what's inside of it. So, how that sound? So this belongs to the other Tesla. I'll put it over here, the other power wall. What's inside this box is, this is the back bracket. This is the bracket that holds the power wall to the wall. So um, we have three of those. This one. And we'll show you what's, in, uh, what's inside the box here. This is, uh, this is the full unboxing of it, so. You got your, your Tesla logo here. And what's pretty cool is to see this right here. Built at the Tesla Gigafactory, Sparks, Nevada. So that's where everything is, is coming from. We'll take this off. Throw that in a pile there. So I didn't open this bag yet. There's obviously one came with each power wall. But let's check it out. If you come in close, we'll, we'll see what's inside of these. So this looks like our Tesla Powerwall 2 safety instructions. One wire nut. Not sure what these are for yet. We're, we're newbies to it, so we're figuring out this is our first Powerwall installation. Right here. We'll have to figure out where this goes. Another wiring connection. And we also have so different little circuits in here. So if you come in close, we've got three circuits in there. Came with three wire nuts. This. So that was everything that was in this little bag. So um, pretty much that's what comes in here. And now we'll keep unboxing the rest of it. I'll put all these in here. I don't want to lose any of this stuff. Tough to get these in. Oh look, it came with a spider right from the Gigafactory. So I'll put all this stuff back in here and we'll keep opening the rest of it. So I really don't want to lose any of this stuff after doing solar for so long you get to the end of the project and you're missing the littlest clamp. So we'll keep all this stuff together. So we'll keep going. Our next package is this. I already showed this to you guys, but I'll just show you the way it opens up here. goes on the back of the power wall. These mount through the blocks. These are pretty heavy. These are over 300 pounds, so really got to secure these tight to the wall. But uh, this is our third one, so we'll put this over here with the rest of them. Doing all right, Snowball? You good? All right. So this is, this is the power wall right in here. You got this open. And that's, that's all of it right here. So we'll take these out. We'll show you the way we unbox the last two of these.
yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty slim. We got a little spider that's in, in the box over here. But this is how they all came. You know, they're, uh, it looks really chic. Like there's not, not a lot there, but trust me, when you lift these up, the weight that it has is a serious weight. And it's an awkward weight because it's, uh, you know, it's a big rectangular box that everything is in. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you the way we took these out. Kind of broke this off over here. So I'm sure a lot of people unbox these a lot of different other ways and get these out, but just for our first time taking it out, this has been, been the way we're, we've been doing it. But I kind of got under here. And it's pretty heavy, so I've been going into like a, a deep squat to get this up. Went right under. And that's, uh, that's the power wall. So it's got this uh, plastic wrap on the outside of it. I'll take that off after the installation. We still have to install our Sun Power PV system. These side plates come off on both sides. That's where our connections go into. It's got this, almost looks like heat sinks, like a radiator on the side. You can see it's got the cooling, cooling system in there. And then on this side, turn it around. It's got our little on off switch over here. And it also has a green LED light in here that changes different colors depending on the status of the battery. These, both these plastics come off on both sides for installation. And then we put them on after the system is, is complete. So my goal is to keep, keep you guys updated with the entire project from start to finish. I know it's a, a new technology for a lot of people adding storage into their home with their PV system. So we're gonna do everything at my house from start to finish and document it the entire way. We're gonna do um, a 36 panel PV system, Sun Power 360 watt modules. We're gonna do three Tesla power walls. I'm gonna run the entire system in off-grid mode. I'm gonna shut off our breaker to the grid and we're gonna see how long I could run at my house with just solar and battery backup. And we're gonna keep you along for the whole step, every step of the way. We'll see how Snowball does throughout the process. So Snowball is gonna be involved. My wife will be involved. And we're basically gonna document how it is living in a modern house with full off-grid technology. I'm not saying you should do this at your home, but I wanna do it and, uh, and see how it is. This is uh, in doing solar for the past 10 years, and now being able to integrate batteries. This is, this is what solar was meant to be. This is what it is all about. And I, uh, I'm gonna document it throughout the whole way. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated and talk to you later.